Hi everyone! As promised, I'm going to share with you guys some tips on how to revive damaged hair. As many of you have already noticed, my hair has been looking a little bit better from a previous disaster. I will link the video here if you would like to know what happened to my hair. Basically, about a month ago, I went to a hair salon and my hair was very badly damaged. It's just been in super bad condition. It was breaking off, it was stringy, it was all sorts of bad stuff. So over the past month, I've been doing a lot of deep conditioning, a lot of re reconstructing, hoping to bring back some of the life that my hair once had. One month's time is a decent amount of time for your hair to recover. If it is going to recover, it probably will recover within that time. My hair is still not in its best condition. I still have a lot of breakage. I still have very thin and fragile hair. But I definitely can say that it is a lot better compared to one month ago when it was damaged. So today I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that I did that helped me and hopefully it could help you too. So to start off, my hair was very, very stringy and very, very mushy after um, the salon had bleached my hair using Olaplex. I don't know if they had mixed the correct ratio or what happened there, but I was left on, under the hood for 30 minutes or more and foiled throughout my hair. And re the result was very, very damaged, damaged, damaged hair. So the first thing that I did was use a deep protein treatment. Now the salon had done some protein treatment for me afterwards. I think they did one of the Redken ones. I'm not exactly sure because they didn't tell me what exact product it was. But it didn't really do too much, too much for me. And they also had performed the step two of the Olaplex treatment. That seemed to help with the texture of the hair quite a bit. However, that was very temporary. It was probably within one wash my hair was back to its tragic form. So I stopped going back to the salon because first of all, going there would just remind me of the tragic incident and it made me very upset and irritated inside. So I didn't want to keep on going back and bothering the other stylists that didn't damage my hair to keep on doing my hair and at the same time I wasn't seeing too huge of a result. So I decided to come home and kind of take matters into my own hands and see whether I can help myself. And I gotta say one of the most effective products that I used in my hair to get my hair in better condition was this FOG two-step treatment. You can get this at Sally Beauty Supply. I think it's around $10 for this bottle. And it also comes with the step two, which is the conditioner. As I mentioned in my favorites video, I'm not too fond of the conditioner because I feel like it doesn't really do too much. Any deep conditioning hair mask would do. So you can save your money on that one and just get the step one. Step one is a protein treatment where it literally dries into your hair. It's very liquidy and it's very sticky. When you open it, it has kind of a sort of strange herbal scent. A lot of people say it smells like rotten eggs. To me, not really. It's a very runny liquid. What you do is you wet your hair and then you apply this stuff all over your hair and uh, comb it through or not, up to you, but you got to do it fast before it you know kind of sets in your hair and what you do next is you would sit under a um, hood or use your hair dryer and dry your hair completely until the hair turns rock solid this stuff dries into your hair and your hair turns very hard so once that happens you can go ahead and rinse it out and it should improve the texture of your hair. When your hair is over bleached or over processed, it's lacking a lot of the protein and also it's very porous. So what this does is it fills in the porous parts and it restores some of the protein that you've lost. Now within one use of this, I already noticed a huge difference. I only did it one time in the last month. It's recommended to do it every 
I think four to six weeks if I'm not mistaken it definitely made the biggest difference in the texture of my hair and I think this is the one thing that you should definitely consider getting if you have very damaged hair that's stringy and mushy once you've restored the protein back in your hair you want to condition your hair very well and restore moisture back into your hair if you over protein your hair your hair will become very hard and brittle and it snaps not off more easily as well so you have to kind of look out for that and not over protein your hair and that goes with you know in shower products as well another one i wanted to show you guys is this uh, garnier fructis damage eraser heal and seal i kind of found this guy when i was walking around rite aid one day and was just kind of in desperation felt really bad about my hair and i was just looking through the hair section and found this i guess it's like a mask sort of thing that is supposed to find and repair damage and seals to help block future damage okay it says it's a phytokeratin complex and it has some kind of butter in it to condition your hair and you're supposed to use a quarter size amount to your hair and leave in for 60 seconds when you're in the shower i noticed that when i use this my hair feels very sleek sort of has like a slip to it it helps detangle my hair and uh, it just makes it easy to comb through in the shower and I feel like I lose less hair as well so that was one of the biggest things that I liked about that and just the fact that it detangled my hair so well I was able to save a lot of that damaged parts because if you're pulling on damaged hair if you're trying to detangle it but it's not detangling you're probably taking off a lot of that hair from just pulling it so you want to have something like this to help you detangle and also i feel like it does make my hair smoother i don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis i i only used it very religiously in the beginning when my hair was super mushy but now my hair is in a little bit of a better condition that i don't need to use too much protein treatments nowadays i'm focused more on bringing moisture into my hair and keeping that moisture in because i feel like damaged hair is very very prone to dryness and when your hair is dry it's also more prone to breakage so at this stage of my recovery i'm trying to bring more moisture back in my hair which brings me to the next couple of things in the shower you're gonna notice that if you have colored hair like me your hair is going to get stripped of its color very easily and also your hair tends to get very dry and one of the things that contributes to this is believe it or not shampoo a lot of the shampoos out there have a lot of sulfates and that could strip your hair of its color as well as moisture so I've been using sulfate free shampoos for the last couple of months and I feel like it does really make a huge difference I was using the L'Oreal one in the green bottle or in the green squeezy tube but that one is in my shower and um, I've been also using another one which I will show you guys I got this um, thicker fuller hair advanced thickening solutions I actually found this guy in big lots sometimes I would go to these random stores and see if they have like things that I can try out so this one is a sulfate free shampoo and it's for dandruff I've been noticing that since the weather is getting a little bit warmer my hair kind of has a little bit of dandruff it's kind of disgusting and it's probably also because my my scalp is really weak and damaged as well this one smells minty and kind of has like a eucalyptus scent which I really like and even though it doesn't bubble up as much I feel like it still does a very decent job in in cleaning my hair to make it feel clean and also this is supposed to make your hair thicker and fuller I don't really know if it's making my hair thicker or fuller to be honest with you but I do enjoy it and also because it is sulfate free I've been noticing that it's not really stripping my hair as vigorously as you know like a normal shampoo would and a few other things that you have to look out for when you're showering is don't shower with too hot of a temperature because hot water can really strip your hair of its oils and also really opens up your follicles and that's not good for your damaged 
over processed hair. So try to use lukewarm water or even cold water if you can stand that. After I shampoo, I always make sure that I moisturize very well. And I've been using a few deep conditioning masks. And these are just some that I purchased from Sally Beauty Supply. And it was buy one get one. So it was sort of a good deal. Um, this one is a strengthening deep mask with bamboo and this one is a jojoba and shea butter deep repair mask. These are meant to be used you know occasionally when your hair needs if you have normal hair these are meant to be used occasionally like once a week but for me I use them on a daily because my hair is very dry and very limp and very damaged so I use these deep conditioners to restore some of the moisture back into my hair and I find that these work extra well because they're thick they coat my hair very well and they make my hair feel very soft and manageable afterwards I normally just put this on my hair after I shampoo leave it in comb it out with a white tooth comb and leave it in for five to ten minutes at the end of my shower I'll rinse it out and usually I feel very my hair is very smooth afterwards I still have very damaged hair at this point even though it's a lot better than it was before I still have a lot of breakage and a lot of my hair fall out after I shower but you know what I feel a lot better about it than I did when I first came out of the salon because it was literally just so damaged beyond anything I can ever think of and it was a very sad time in my life hopefully these tips from me can help you guys as well in terms of your hair the condition of your hair and also in terms of your mental state and how you feel lastly I want to talk about styling after you shower, after you condition, you don't want to vigorously rub your hair in a towel. Um, you want to just kind of, you know, blot it or let it, you know, air dry. I like to use a, um, a hair turban to wrap it up. Um, I forget what they're called, um, but you know, those like twisty ones turby twists I think that's what they're called they are microfiber so you just wrap your hair in it and it soaks up most of the moisture in your hair so that way you don't have to vigorously rub your hair and also it saves time in drying so normally I would just wrap my hair in that go on with applying body lotion whatever drying my body getting dressed and then I will go ahead and apply a leave-in conditioner like the it's a 10 miracle leave-in this guy really detangles it conditions it makes me feel like my hair is a lot healthier even though it's probably just masking but still i feel like it's a very good product to use before you blow dry your hair and also a couple other things i've been trying out that i got recently are from living proof i got this guy which is the nightcap overnight perfecter i tried it on today for the first time and i didn't even leave it in overnight i just put it on when my hair was damp and kind of styled it how i normally would and i gotta say this really feels nice it's lightweight and it made my hair feel a lot more manageable even even though i didn't really leave it overnight and the next thing i also tried today is this restore instant repair by living proof as well and it's the complete breakage solution and this one is the repairing lotion again I put this on my damp hair and I just go on with my normal styling uh, which is just blow drying with a either a large round comb or a flat paddle brush so this and this really felt lightweight in the hair and also it makes my hair feel a lot softer and just kind of feathery light it felt really nice i have to try these out a little bit more and i will let you guys know how my hair feels in a few days or so but again please do make sure that you use a product that's a leave-in and that conditions that detangles makes it easier to style because most of the times um, if you just do the in shower things it won't really make your hair feel nice after it dries because it'll still be kind of rough 
So you want to use products that smooth as you're styling, especially if you blow dry like I do. Um, also make sure that it's on low heat, as low of heat as you can possibly use. Um, again, high heat will really blow up those follicles and make your hair really unruly and also cause more breakage and dryness. After you use a conditioning leave-in product, which probably adds a little bit more moisture and manageability into your hair, make sure you also use the oil to seal it. I use the Fructis Marvelous Oil, which is a 5-action hair elixir. I've been using this guy for a while now. I also had another one. I think it was a L'Oreal one that was in the orange bottle. I forget what it's called. But any oil would do, even olive oil or any kind of oil that you can get. You just want to seal in the cuticles and seal in that moisture and seal in the um, conditioning products. That way when you're blow drying, when you're heat styling or something like that, you are also kind of forming a layer of protective oil around your hair. Um, a lot of the times if your hair is over bleached or if your hair is over damaged, your scalp also produces less oil. Um, you want to make sure that your hair is coated with oil so that you know it's protected. Now I'm not saying pour oil on your head, just you know pour some on your hands and then rub it through your hands and just run it through the mid to end of your hair and that way it'll make your hair also a lot smoother and it'll tame a lot of the flyaways that you might have in split ends and whatnot. Lastly, make sure that you get frequent trims. I trimmed off probably an inch to two inch since my hair got damaged which was a month ago and uh, it you know once you cut off the split ends it won't keep splitting up your hair granted I still have a lot of split ends right now um, but because I don't want to lose too much of my length that's why I'm not cutting it as vigorously as I should be but once my hair grows out a little bit more I will be cutting more of it off and hopefully that way it'll be more healthy also um, if your hair is damaged obviously don't damage anymore stop bleaching it stop dyeing it just let it grow out for a little bit it's been one month since my hair I think it's a little over a month since my hair was damaged and I haven't done any kind of chemical processing to it the only thing that I do is use the um, overtone products in the shower which is the conditioner so it doesn't you know it doesn't bleach your hair and it doesn't have peroxide or anything like that in it so if you must do something to your hair up for something like that that doesn't have bleaching properties or chemical reactions to your hair and let me think if I got everything oh I've been taking a hair vitamin you can only do so much trying to heal your hair from the outside in but your body also can repair in terms of growing out healthier hair from the inside out so what I've been doing is I've been taking a hair, skin, and nails multivitamin. And I got this one at Walmart for around 5 to $6. And uh, it has a high amount of biotin in it. So this is the thing that is supposed to make your hair grow faster and stronger. And it's the main ingredient in a lot of the hair vitamins that you see out there on the market. You don't have to go out there and spend tons of money on fancy vitamins because at the end of the day, the main ingredient is the biotin. I have been taking this for the past two to three weeks, I would say, and I don't want to tell you guys to go out there and get it like you must go out there and get it, but I do notice that my hair has been growing out a bit. I'm not sure it's been growing extra fast or anything, but if you can see, my roots are about an inch and a half to almost two inches long um, which is a relief to me because at least new hair is growing in and I'm not going bald or anything but I do notice that I have a lot of breakage even close to the roots which is really bad because it's gonna take me years to grow out those little baby hairs that are broken off but I digress I, what I do notice from these vitamins is that they have actually made my skin really, really nice. I have not been breaking out as much 
and even when I do break out, they're not the cystic ones that I used to get. I have not been eating all that healthy for the past week or so. I've been eating out every single day. And usually when that happens, my skin gets very greasy and I break out a lot. Not to mention that I don't really sleep all that much either. I probably sleep on average about five to six hours a day, which is very little. Um... So the combination of bad food and lack of sleep usually causes me to break out tremendously. But I have not been breaking out as much as of late. And I feel like my skin looks really nice. Um, I, I think it's because of the hair vitamins. And uh, my nails are badly damaged from getting acrylic nails. <laughs> A lot of things on my body are damaged at right now <laughs> i don't know like girls just do things that damage ourselves try to look pretty and then we end up dam damaging ourselves it's just what we do but hey you know you go through things and you learn um so my nails have been really damaged as well but i do notice that they're growing in and they're not as flimsy as they were before so i'm really happy about that so i mean i i would say go out there and get this if you can it's very affordable and it seems to do you know something if if not the hair then it's helping the skin yeah um those are some of my tips and the things that i did in the past month that kind of salvaged my hair a little bit better and made me feel a little bit better inside my hair is not in the best condition that i can be but i have to say that it's a lot better even though it's a lot thinner than before i got it damaged i don't want to put point fingers or blame anybody for the mistakes that happened but it's just a lesson learned for me and in the future i'll be more careful and that's something that you should look out for as well please find a reputable hair place and a hairstylist even if a reputable hair place is available you have to make sure that the person doing your hair is reputable and know what they're doing because a lot of the times you can go to a really nice place and they can have multiple hairstylists and some of them are not as capable as the others and at the end of the day you're the one that will suffer you know so just make sure that you protect yourself you learn the necessary information that's needed if you're going to be doing something drastic to your hair and also hair bounces back kind of you can always try to salvage it if tragically bad things happen to you like it did to me my hair did bounce back a little bit even though it's still very damaged but I can say that it's more manageable now at least I can work with it so in the meantime I'm just going to leave it alone for a while and grow it out as much as I can cut off as much as I can and I'll probably be having short hair for a long time just because it'll take me a long time to grow out the damaged parts but hey what can you do right um, whatever happened happened and this is just what you have to deal with so be strong I'm here with you and I hope these tips have helped you and if you have any recommendations or any tips or tricks that you know that can help please comment down below and thumbs up if you like this video also if you have not followed me on Instagram please do there I will have more frequent updates of my um, style tips and also makeup looks hair looks sometimes I'll post lifestyle pictures as well um, so if you're not following me, it is going to be here and please do follow me and I also have a snapchat here for you guys as well and Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye